Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to write an Ionic model using ECML and how to use it with OpenCARP. In this video tutorial we will look at the Ionic model proposed by Huxley and Huxkin of a neuron from a squid axon. The neuron model has three ion channels, one for potassium, one for sodium and one leak channel. The mathematical equations that represent this cell are the following. Now, the question is, how we can write this in a simple way and later on use it in a simulation? For that, ECML is a markup language created to write in a simple way ionic models. We will start by defining the transmembrane voltage and the total ion current flux across the cell membrane. In this model, we will use B for the transmembrane voltage and we always finish with a semicolon. Next, we define the total ion current flux as I ion. Notice that we will use two reserve keywords of ECML, external and nodal. With external, we make the variable B a global variable that we will be later on used on tissue simulations. With nodal, the variable changes on a node by node basis. According to the equations, the transmembrane voltage is a state variable, and to numerically solve the equations, it will need an initial condition. ECML will recognize the initial condition if we use the variable name followed by underscore init. The resting membrane potential for this model is minus 60 millivolts, and we always finish the line with a semicolon. We can add a comment to our model by using double the slash. Now we will declare a second variable called E underscore R, which is the reversal potential. Next, we start with the sodium ion channel formulation. We will use the variable G and A, which is the maximal conductance for the sodium channel and it has a value of 120. If later on we want to modify this value, we can also use the keyword param that will allow us to modify this parameter in OpenCARP. As we learned in a previous video, the ion channels are modeled using the gate formulation. Now we will start writing the formulations for the activation gates. ECML has a specific syntax to identify gating variables. To have a detailed description of all the gating variable declaration syntax, please look at our documentation. In this model, we will use the alpha underscore, beta underscore, and div underscore. We now start to write the formulations for the M gate. Now we repeat the same process for the sodium inactivation gate. After that, we write the formulation of the reversal potential. Now, the current formulation of the sodium channel.
and we repeat the process for the potassium channel and the leak channel. Next, we write I ion, which is the sum of all ionic currents. Finally, if we like to trace one or more variables, we can use the keyword trace. To avoid repetitions, we can use groups, which will help us to collect all variables that will be affected by an ECML markup keyword. Using the keyword trace, we will output a file with all the desired variables. In this tutorial, we will trace the ionic currents. So we will use group and then write down the name of the currents. And we put the keyword trace at the end. Now we finish writing the file and we will save. ECML parses the model file to create the C++ files for OpenCAR. To use the implemented model, OpenCAR offers two ways. You can either recompile CARP with your new file or you can create a dynamic library to use it as an external model. In this video tutorial, we will recompile OpenCARP. What we need to do first is to add our new ionic model to the list of available ionic models in OpenCARP. That list is called IMP list, and you will find it in the folder where all the ionic models are. It is located under physics limpet models. Now it's finished and we're going to create a folder to store the result of our test. So we will create a folder called test underscore IMP. We go to that folder and we type bench minus minus IMP HH underscore tutorial, which is the name of our model that we have implemented and type enter. Now as we can see here we had run now a simulation of a single cell using bench. Here are some statistics about the ionic model and what we can see here in the terminal are three columns. In these three columns we have the time, we have the PM which is the transmembrane voltage of our cell and the I ion which is the sum of all the currents. And we have that information for every millisecond. So in this video tutorial you had an introduction to ECML. You learn also how to implement an ionic model using ECML in a very simple and clear way. You learn how to incorporate a new model in OpenCARP just in a few steps. And for more information, you can visit our webpage, look in our documentation and our examples.
Thanks for watching.